Hey guys, it's Megan, and today I'm going to be talking about the Wasteland Workshop Fallout 4 DLC. And I'm going to be telling you my thoughts on it, and I'm also going to include little gameplay clips, so hopefully it works out. So this DLC comes with new building materials. It comes with concrete walls, roofs, floors, and other concrete stuff, and uh, neon, signs, taxidermy, but most importantly, it comes with stuff to build your own arena. So you can pit the creatures of the wasteland against each other, you can pit your settlers against each other, you can just put stuff in a cage and kill it for fun. It's a great time. I'm gonna focus on the capturing and the arena building because that's the most unique thing and I don't think we've seen anything like it before. Um, well we haven't. So, um, you can tame the creatures of the wasteland using the, it's called like a beta wave emitter. And that will tame ghouls and death claws and like all the other little animals out there that you can catch. But it doesn't tame super mutants or gunners or raiders, so that, I didn't know that, and so I got attacked. But the first thing I captured was a raider and a gunner, which was a huge mistake because raiders and gunners are hostile when you capture them. I captured a deathclaw, which was the whole point of me even, like, wanting to play this DLC. Capturing a deathclaw is really easy. Capturing anything is really easy. The materials aren't easy to find because you have to have, like, a special kind of meat. When you capture a creature or anything, it should be important to note that their family will come looking for you. And, uh, when a deathclaw's family comes looking for you, it's not fun. I also captured a ghoul and a super mutant, and ghouls you can tame. Oh, I captured a super mutant also. Super mutants cannot be tamed. Um, you should probably remember that because they also like to hide in their cage, and then like, you're like, where's the super mutant? And then, um, don't do that. Making them fight is a totally different ball game. If you capture two of the same creature, they will not fight each other, and I didn't know that. Uh, I also didn't know about the beam emitter until way later on, so I captured two death claws, and it didn't work out for me. Why is he looking at me? What is he doing? Are they gonna fight each other? <laughs> Getting your settlers to fight each other is also like way too, I don't know, buggy for me. It, I had a lot of problems with getting them to like face each other or getting them to see each other. They literally, like they have to see each other. If they don't see each other, nothing's gonna happen. Or if you don't send one to their platform first and then send the other one, they will go f seek out the enemy and fight them like randomly out of the blue and that's really unorganized and unprofessional. The problem with settlers and um, arena thing, basically you assign them to a little, it's like a little blue or red platform. Um, I had a tamed deathclaw on my, on my settlement when I did that and my settler attacked the deathclaw and luckily the deathclaw didn't die but the settler did. If you have tamed creatures you really have to be careful and you really have to be very particular with how you set everything up because it's not really organized in that way. It makes sense because you can tame the Deathclaw and have it fight your settlers. That's very anticlimactic though, let me tell you. Is she dead? Another thing is I tamed a Deathclaw and then I tamed a ghoul, which I'm just gonna assume that it's like any other creature. Um, the ghoul was walking around my camp and the deathclaw saw him and immediately killed him. So, you can't have two different species tamed on- in one settlement at the same time. Because they'll attack each other. It kinda sucks. My ghoul was fighting a settler, the settler died, and then the winner should be able to walk around the camp. He should be able to enjoy his victory. I actually didn't think I was going to like this DLC at all, aside from the taxidermy. But I actually really did enjoy seeing things fight each other. It's really cool. It's cool to have a death cloud guarding your camp. I really enjoyed that they fixed the whole building issue with the walls. You know, like when you try to build the wall and it's like this. And that's like, that's how the wall works. It just, there's that gap. 
Um, now with the concrete, you can fill in that gap with a tinier wall. And that's just, it's the small thing. I really enjoyed making my arena. I enjoyed the idea of like pitting things against each other because that's just, you know, it's very post-apocalyptic. It's just cool to, to see things kill each other in the wasteland. Specifically in something that I built that says fresh chicken nuggets on it. Overall, I really did enjoy this DLC, but definitely say check it out. I think it's like $5. It's $5, and for $5, you can just watch Death Claws kill your settlers. And honestly. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Maybe they'll see each other now. Nope.